this presentation was made by Dr. Alexander Meyer from the Interdisciplinaire Schulzentrum Duisburg, who received the speaker's fee from Medistin. I think all of you agree with me that flow is the most important thing in maturation and preservation of the arteriovenous fistula. So if it is, we should use the possibility to measure it whenever we can. And flow measurement by using transit time difference is a reliable tool to quantify the flow from an object to view. Ultrasonic flow measurement with the transit time difference is based on one simple physical fact. Imagine two canoes crossing a river diagonally on the same line, one in the direction of the flow and the other against it. The canoe moving in the direction of the flow needs considerably less time to reach the other river bank than the canoe moving against the direction of the flow. This fact can be transferred to the bloodstream and we can see that ultrasonic waves along a diagonal path behave exactly in the same way. A sound wave in the direction of the blood flow, T1, is faster than a sound wave against the blood flow direction, T2. The difference between the transit times is directly proportional to the flow velocity of the blood and shows the excess flow, QA. The predictive value of intraoperative blood flow measurement in vascular excess surgery was first described by the Swedish surgeon Elström from Linköping in 1981. He realized that there was a relation between the flow rate in the fistula and early failures of the fistula. The accuracy of flow measurements with the ultrasound transit time method has been already evaluated in cabbage surgery and shows excellent correlation of 99.6% with true flow. All you need is a flow probe with two single transducer elements consisting of a transmitting and a receiving transducer. On the other side we have a reflector sending the waves back to the transducers. There is a wide range of different sizes of flow probes. The technique consists of the placement of an appropriately sized probe around the outflow vein of the AVF at least 5 mm downstream the AV anastomosis. This flow probe is too small. It narrows the vein, thus leading to an inaccurate measurement. This flow probe is too big and an air gap would avoid a precise measurement. So be sure that your flow probe has the right size and the right position. The line solution is used between the vessel and the probe to avoid the air gap. The blood flow signal is recorded until a steady state is achieved. The flow curve can be recorded and gives you a diagnostic information. The most important parameters in vascular access is the acoustic coupling index, ACI to verify that the measurement is reliable. The ACI needs to be greater than 30%, so it is important to have a green or yellow ACI when measuring TTFM. Red or orange ACI may lead to inaccurate and inconsistent measurements. Then have a look to the mean flow, which is the numerical value of the red horizontal line. The maximum flow and the minimal flow should be considered as well as the pulsatility index PI, which is defined as the difference between the maximum and minimum flow divided by the mean flow. In vascular excess, we typically have a low PI, significantly below 1, because in absence of peripheral resistance, there is no large difference between the maximum and minimum flow. In general, we have a PI around about 0.5. In summary, TTFM is easy to use, provides reliable flow values, is immediately available and enables a flow-guided surgery.